never noticed how red my tongue got. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tabitha. Please consider subscribing if you have not already done so. Give this video a thumbs up if you happen to enjoy it. And um, we're gonna get started. Today's video is gonna be my favorites, like my current favorites. I've got kind of a little bit of everything. I don't do these types of videos too often just because it takes me a while to accumulate like enough products to do a favorites video. I don't really have too many things to talk about. I'm gonna try to speed through this pretty quickly. Also, disclaimer, you guys may see the same look, outfit, and everything in my next video because I did just film a fall makeup tutorial on the look that I'm wearing right now and I didn't feel like changing, so that's me being lazy. Anyway, we're just gonna go ahead and jump into it. I'm going to talk about the makeup I'm loving first and then we'll kind of move along to a couple of other things. All right, so the first couple of items are things that I mentioned back when I did my makeup collection video. I did like a mini haul in that video and I talked about a couple of these things that I had just gotten. I'm not sure when that was, maybe like two months ago or something. The first thing that I want to talk about is this L'Oreal Lumique Lotion. I've used this quite a bit on my channel now and I absolutely love it. Before I used this, um, I was using the Physician's Formula Spotlight Illuminating Primer, I believe. That's supposed to be a dupe for the Becca backlight priming filter and I did like it while I was using it the more I used it the more I kind of realized it had a little bit of like shimmer in it I heard people saying there was kind of an inconsistency with the formula and that some people's had shimmer some people's didn't um, but mine did the more I used it the more I noticed it it wasn't bad like I would definitely still use that primer like it was nice it just the shimmer kind of showed up depending how I used it so I kind of had to be careful with it this Lumi Lotion, however, does not have that at all. It's absolutely gorgeous. There's no shimmers. It's just a gorgeous, like, glow to the face. And I love using this mixed in with foundation to wear under foundation. I wear this almost every time I do my makeup, to be honest. I just, I can't get enough of a glow, and this is so gorgeous. Um, this is in the shade Light Glow. So I'm kind of like a pinky champagne -y kind of shade, and um, it's really pretty. So definitely recommend this. The next thing is this NARS soft matte complete concealer. I use this a lot on my channel. This is in the shade Custard. I freaking love this concealer. I've honestly pretty much exclusively used this concealer in the last, well, ever since I've gotten it, to be honest. Um, I definitely like other concealers as well, but this doesn't crease as fast on me if I don't use too much because it is a thicker consistency and it's not so liquidy and doesn't just like immediately sink into my fine lines. I have really bad lines underneath my eyes, so this doesn't like sink in as fast and if I set it right away, it just looks flawless. So yeah, I do definitely feel like this has great coverage and I really like it, especially for blemishes. It's amazing for blemishes. It just like covers them up automatically a little bit goes a really long way and um, yeah I just really enjoy this and the last thing that I talked about in that haul this is the milk makeup matte bronzer in baked I have used this a lot as well obviously I really like these so I've been using them a ton but I haven't like talked about them in a favorites video this is what the milk makeup bronzer looks like I can even swatch it for you guys so you can kind of see the shade like on my hand it's like the perfect neutral shade like it's not too warm it's not too cool absolutely gorgeous and I haven't worked with a lot of cream bronzers but now that I've used this one like I just I mean it's my favorite I love it so much and I almost like it better sometimes than my powder bronzers it's really pigmented it blends really easily and I just really enjoy that so I'm not sure how I would like other cream bronzers, but that one so far has been amazing. And moving on from that, um, I have a highlight. This is the Morphe High Impact Highlighter in Spark. This is something that I believe Kathleen Lights talked about. That would focus. I'm pretty sure Kathleen Lights talked about this in one of her favorites videos. And I'm gonna swatch this one for you too. This is so intense and gorgeous. It's like this beautiful, kind of like champagne highlight. Hopefully you can see that it actually looks darker on the hand I feel like than it does on the skin like when you apply it to the skin it actually looks really bright and pretty but it does look a little bit dark in the pan but it's really not it's absolutely gorgeous and brightening and illuminating and it's so intense and I've been using it actually a lot some of my highlighters that I used and loved a lot are getting kind of pushed to the side because I've been using that one so much I do want to quickly mention this I know there's a lot of controversy with this and I'm not even gonna go into the formula or anything like that, but the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill um, Vault Palette in Dark Magic, that's the, the one, this one is Dark Magic. To me, this is just the coolest looking palette. Like if you look at these shades, it wouldn't be like what I would normally gravitate towards and I'm not usually a cool toned type of person when it comes to eyeshadow, but this 
palette. It's the coolest combination of shades. It looks so unique and awesome. And I just love all these shades. The taupey one, this one right here actually, I've been using it so much in my crease. When I do like a really light look of eyeshadow instead of using like my bronzer or something, I'll use the taupey shade in here. And I'm not even a cool toned kind of person, but it just looks so good. I don't know how to explain it. It's like a rich taupe. Yeah, it's just really pretty. And I just think these are absolutely gorgeous shades. And from what I can tell so far, I do really like the formula. That's just me. That's just what I can tell so far. Like I haven't used all the shades and I haven't played around with it a ton. So I was kind of hesitant about putting it in here because I don't want you guys to think I'm just like putting random stuff in here that I don't love. Because everything here is stuff I love. I just wanted to mention this and let you guys know like I have been really liking it, but I haven't tried it out enough to know if all of the shades are consistent. So that's all I wanted to say about that. That's all the makeup I have actually. I have this Fresh Sugar Rose Lip Balm. This is like a little mini size. It's so cute. I got this with um, my Sephora points and I just really like it. It's a good lip balm. I wouldn't spend the money on it honestly. It's kind of expensive but for the fact that I have it and I got it with my points, I do really like it. I use it all the time when I'm doing my makeup. Next thing I'm not sure if I have mentioned this on my channel. This is the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Wipes in the fragrance free version. This is what they look like, just the regular blue pack. I know I've heard a lot of people not like saying good things about this. A lot of people say they don't like them. I know Kathleen Lights um, said they're like kind of greasy and so she always kept me from buying them. Like I wouldn't buy them because I didn't, like she would, said they weren't really good, she didn't like them. I went and tried them because I heard someone else, I think it was M Melissa Alator talking about them and she said she loves them, she said they're great. I decided to try them because I've tried so many makeup wipes, ones that have been recommended by people, all different kinds, and while some were maybe a little better than others, for the most part, they were all pretty much the same as far as quality. Like, I didn't find any that were like absolutely amazing. So I would always just use like my cellar water, and you know, I would buy makeup wipes just in case, like just because for travel and my cellar water does, it runs out pretty quickly and it's pretty expensive. So I decided to try the Neutrogena makeup wipes because Melissa was saying they're good and I just I just wanted to try them and know for myself. Honestly, these are the best makeup wipes I have ever used in my life and I don't want to be that person that loves these when everyone hates them, but like they're not greasy to me. They don't have a strong scent because I got the fragrance free. They don't feel greasy. They just feel a little bit kind of moisturizing and it gets all my makeup off. It doesn't burn my eyes. Like I just wash my face afterwards anyway, so it doesn't bother me if there's a little bit of like a slip to it. I just like that they get all my makeup off super fast. I don't have any other makeup wipes. I've never used any other makeup wipes that have gotten my makeup off this well. And so I just had to let you guys know that if you haven't tried these, try them. If you don't like them, never purchase them again. That's fine. But I just think if you haven't tried these out for yourself, you should give them a chance and just see how you feel about them. Get the fragrance free version, um, especially if you're sensitive to scents or anything like that. Yeah, just, just try them out. That's all, that's all I'm asking. Okay, so the next thing is this Briogeo Curl Charisma Rice Amino and Avocado Leave-In Defining Cream. This is what this looks like. I think I've talked about Briogeo on my channel before. This is a, just like a curling, curl defining cream basically. And I didn't, you know, I had this for a long time because I have more wavy hair, but I never really used it that much just because I wasn't sure how to use it. And then lately, since I've been washing my hair a certain way and I've been, you know, using a lot better shampoo and conditioner that don't have like all these harmful ingredients in it, they say it's really good to, after you're done washing your hair, while your hair is still wet, put like a curl cream into it just to like keep it less frizzy and um, define your curls and then scrunch it like into your hair. And this is what I had. I was like, well, I already have a curl cream, so I'll use this one. And I've liked it when I've used it, but I've never used it that way. Like I've never used it when my hair is still like pretty wet and like scrunched it into my hair. This is amazing. Um, I haven't tried a lot of other ones, so I can't say how it is in comparison to those, but I definitely have heard a lot of people say they like this, and I think it's awesome for what I've used it for. I think it's really good if you have curly hair, and it definitely does define the curls and like smooths the frizz, and yeah, I definitely use this a lot. I actually just put it in my hair because this is like third day hair, and it's pretty like frizzy and like all of the curls pretty much have gone out. It's just a little bit wavy now. So I just sprayed like a spray bottle of water on my hair and scrunched this into my hair to like kind of freshen it a little bit. And it definitely looks better than it did before I did that. My hair looks the best like the first couple days, obviously. The next thing I have to talk about, I'm absolutely, I'm literally so obsessed with this, I can't even. This is the Giorgio Armani C Passion. Um, I don't really have the best accent for um, these kinds of words. But anyway, this is like the C, but it's like a better version. It's in a red bottle with black cap. It's absolutely stunning. 
I mean, this bottle is just to die for. I posted a picture of this on my Instagram the other day and the smell of this perfume, this is like my fall scent for this year. Like I just bought it with my Ulta points a couple months ago and I'm, I'm wearing this like this year, this fall and winter, and I really hope it reminds me of this fall and winter. It smells so freaking good. It's just like, it's so hard to describe because it's like, it's like sexy and kind of warm, but like, I wouldn't call it warm and deep really. I would call it warm, but yeah, also like bright. That's kind of like a weird description, but just look up the notes online because it's definitely worth it or like smell it in the store. It's it, I, the second I sprayed this on myself in the store, I fell in love with it. I immediately loved it and that does not happen very often. So yeah, definitely recommend this perfume. Definitely go try it, especially if you like C or have C, the original. Um, go smell the one in the red bottle and tell me what you think of it. It smells really good. Now I have a nail polish. <laughs> this is the KL Polish from Kathleen Lights Carmelo. And this one is super popular. This is like a super popular fall nail polish. This was, I think, from her first launch, like her first line that she did. And it was a fall launch and this was in that launch. And it, ever since it's been so popular, everyone loves it. And she recently did a 40% off sale for her subscribers. So it was like, hey, I'll pick Carmelo up. I've been wanting it for a really long time. And I used it on my nails the other day. Right now I have Chloe on. It's like the olive green and it's definitely like chipped on a couple places, but it stayed pretty good the last couple days. But before that I had this one on and I really like it. It's really, really fun, pretty color for fall. So there's that. I did this kind of in a weird order, but this is the Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, chamomile, and lavender. I really love this. I love all the Mario Badescu sprays. I forgot to mention that this is also something I hauled in that video, but I just forgot to mention that. Anyway, yeah, there's not too much to say about this. I've used the rose water one and I really like it. This one's just as good. It just smells a little different and yeah, really enjoy this. I love putting this on after makeup or when I just did my skincare, I put it on like all the time. And then last but certainly not least, I've got a snack here. To share with you guys. This is the Doritos Dynamita rolled flavored tortilla chips. This is what the bag looks like. They're almost gone. There's only a couple more in here. Basically, these are like a knockoff version of Takis. If you guys know what Takis are, they're like an amazing like Mexican style chip. They're like the roll, they're rolled just like these are. These look just like Takis. These are the chili lemon. So chili lime, basically, just like the original Taki flavor and honestly they taste really similar. I personally don't can't tell too much of a difference between the two. They're just as spicy, just as amazing. I will say these are very spicy. So if you have never tried Takis or you don't know what they are, I've never tried these. They're really spicy. If you like spicy stuff, you'll probably love it. If not, you'll probably hate it and choke because even me when I was eating these, I would just like eat them so fast because they're so good. And then I like choke on the powder. It's so strong. So you don't want to get that in your lungs and you don't want to choke on it. It's definitely very spicy. So just that disclaimer, if you choke and die, don't sue me. But yeah, these are really delicious if you like spicy, like yummy flavored snacks. I really like snacks that have a lot of flavor. Like I love salt and vinegar chips, just stuff like that. Super flavorful things. I actually bought these because I was looking for Takis at the Bueller's by my house because we only have a Bueller's here. There's not like a Walmart and they didn't have Takis, but I found these and I was like, hmm, I wonder if they're good. So I bought them and I really like them and I will definitely be repurchasing them in the future, but Takis are also really good. So I mean, it's not like they're necessarily better. They're just really amazing. So I just thought I'd let you guys know this is an alternative if you can't find Takis at your store. And yeah, guys, I think that's gonna be everything. I don't think I have anything else to talk about. I really hope you guys enjoyed this favorites video. Let me know if you wanna see more of these kind of like favorites, current favorite videos. I don't do monthly favorites because like I said, it takes me a while to accumulate enough stuff to make a favorites video but I do really really enjoy doing these videos I really hope you enjoy this let me know any of your favorites of the month in the comments down below I would really appreciate that actually let me know if you've tried any of these things and if you like them or not um That's gonna be everything from me be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.